Q at State 16. We're a couple of weeks into the new year, and a lot of us have made resolutions to be better with our money, even try to make more money. Well, it's uh, easier said than done. We all know that. In fact, right now, 49% of all Americans are living paycheck to paycheck, which, of course, is not good. But maybe it's not as hard as you think. All you have to do is say the right things, according to Clint Arthur, who wrote the speaking game, Seven Figure Speaker Secrets Revealed. Clint, good morning to you. Good morning, Arizona. Great to be with it's you. It's that easy, huh? Does this book come with a guarantee? <laughs> <laughs> it is easy if you play the game. Now, I earn seven figures a year just by talking and I wrote down all my secrets in this book and it's all about helping people make more money every time they talk. Okay, I, I have not seen the book, so I haven't read it, but reading articles about this and you, it sounds like you're just telling people to basically be more decisive about what they want. Is that part of A it? A lot of it is your mindset, and that's what we're gonna talk about this okay. morning. But in the book, it also talks about how to say things in a way where people pay more attention okay. and are more interested in what you say. All right. Go ahead. Where so the first begin? thing you should never say is, let me think about it, because we all know that means no. I get that. And yes. on the same side, you should never ask a person who you want to give money to think about it. Tell okay. them to make a decision. Either say want. yes or no and get, get, get a decision so you can move on. Then there's I woulda, coulda, shoulda. Don't regret your choices in life. Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose, sometimes you draw. But learn your lessons and move forward and then let me give you a discount. Don't ever discount your services. It mm -hmm. makes you feel like you're not getting your value and that's not a great way to move through life. And then can I have a discount? That, that just means you're <laughs> cheap and that, and that means that you don't believe that you're worth paying full price. If you're a baller and you want something, you just pay. Well, there's a lot of wealthy people in this world who might consider themselves cheap when it comes to some things. That's true, but there are better things to negotiate for than the price. Negotiating the price is always the worst thing to negotiate. Now let's talk about the things you should always say. Okay. You should always say your full name. When okay. you call up, you always say your full name when you call for a restaurant reservation. And even if, <laughs> even if you're not a famous See, newscaster. See, I'm cheap and I don't go to restaurants where you have to make a reservation. <laughs> 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 exactly. I just stand in line like everybody else. Then there's give me the money. People cannot read your mind. You will make a lot more money if you ask for the money. So okay. ask them to give you the money. Okay. Then I'm the only one who does this in the world. You need to be uniquely positioned in the world. And if you're the only person who does something, it's a lot easier to get paid full price. I understand Because they can't that. get it yes. somewhere else. If yeah. they can, they'll buy it cheaper from somebody else. Then I don't discount, but I can give you a bonus. Okay. That's a great thing. Right. This way you get your price, but you make the people feel better about giving you the money. And then I'm very grateful. Now, Martin Luther King Day is coming up, and he was the greatest speaker of all time. And he talked about his dreams, and I had a dream. Mm -hmm. I wanted to get out from behind the wheel of driving a taxi. Okay. And I drove a taxi for six years, and there I was on December 31st, 1999, on the Millennium, driving a cab. Mm -hmm. And my fraternity brothers from the Wharton Business School were making millions of bucks, and I was driving a cab. I tell you what, I am so grateful to be where I am right now in my life. And if you talk about how grateful you are, it'll make it easier for people to want to give you money, too. Well, good for you. You went to Wharton and you were driving a cab? I pursued the Hollywood dream for 13 years. Oh, okay. And that was the bad side of the Hollywood dream. <laughs> I see that. The side they don't <laughs> talk about, but they I didn't talk say, about it all the time. Yeah, well, good for you. You know, a lot of people are in jobs that they see they're never going to make more money, or maybe they're under a contract or something like that. I guess you have to take another route then, right? There are so many opportunities to make money today, and I'm telling you, if you figure it out and if you use the tricks in the speaking game, mm -hmm. you'll be making a lot more money every time you talk and you'll talk in a way that people will be more interested and more engaged in what you're saying. And that's the first, the first step to getting people to give you money is to have them pay attention to you. All right, I like that. Well, uh, Clint, thank you so much. The Speaking Game is the book. You can get it, and you're going to make more money because people are buying this book. That's true, too. Yeah, okay. All right. <laughs> Let's send it over to Olivia. Uh, she deserves the money, doesn't she? Yeah. She I mean, like she it. already makes the lion's share, but she deserves more. If he gave the book away for free, then we wouldn't be <laughs> believing in his value, right? right. I'm paying full price for that book.